Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hund. And I'm Kylie 409 And we're back to Danganronpa. Woohoo! So, today's the day, huh? If I overview everything one more time, the content was Anakuma Casanova, right? Oh shit, I don't have enough wrenches. Fuck! Uh -huh. I, I had everything I needed, so... Oh shit. Uh, well, I can make a Greek statue. But I don't have enough materials. I don't I, I'm missing two chisels and a wrench. Um, oops. <laughs> this is unacceptable! <laughs> you had better start taking this seriously! I know you can do better than this! Anyone could! What were you saying? The only thing that happens is just just giving you trip tickets. Okay. Sorry to interrupt again! How'd your first project review go? You found it difficult. I have some good news. This mode has its own very has its very own new game plus cycle. Only your collection level and cleaning level carry over, but you'll be able to take another shot at it. Even if you're not great at stuff like this, as long as you don't give up, you'll make your way through it. Still, success is possible in a single playthrough. Maybe you can accept the challenge someday. Okay, so it's basically saying that I fucked up already. No, I got the same dialogue too. Oh, okay. But you succeeded, or I didn't. Yeah. So, so the next concept is Ta -da! right here. <laughs> ah, Kyoko. I do not have her. Oh, I know. I didn't get her. Okay. You need to be okay. That was her feeling good dialogue. I didn't know. Yes. <laughs> Yo, working your eager beaver butts off, huh? Let me give you something as a little reward. I got a cheat sheet. Well then, have a nice day! Alright, let's see what we need to construct. Okay, I have enough screwdrivers. I need dust cloths, motor... Okay, wait. So, I, do I need to... Uh, construct those? Let's see. Okay, a motor I need to construct. I need a wrench and a soccer ball. I need two wrenches and a soccer ball. What else do they need? Binary converter. I can make a binary converter already. Oh, I need five? Are you kidding me? Oh. All right. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a fun one. <clears throat> All right, personal. Let's see, class. Let's do some cleaning. Mondo, you're you're good. Uh, so let's get you there. You're good. Let's get you. Fumi. Oh, those are all those are all dust cloths. So it doesn't really matter. I should just focus on that one. Wrench and dust cloth. Uh, Chihiro, I'm gonna put you on cleaning. Uh, okay, apparently you need to rest. You need to clean each and every dorm. Uh, you go get some rest. So if we get back to cleaning. <clears throat> need some more programming stuff. Uh, more wrenches, and you get more wrenches as well. Actually, no, if you go there. Uh, I think that should be good. Let's begin. Oh. Hero is still just dead. Oh, I leveled up uh, Hina, uh, Taka, and Biakia. Anyways, let's go meet with someone. Miki, I talked to you. Well, I guess I can take care of that one, because. Uh, he's a. Uh, oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, so let's spend some time together. Let's see, I'm sure I have some baseball related goods I can give you. Oh, yeah? 
Hey, were you worried about me or something? <laughs> Damn, that's actually kind of nice of you. Hey, a war in good time with Leon. Wow. Me and I go a little closer today. Alright, so let's see what we would like to give him. I like the Cola Cola, by the way. I've been counting on that before, uh. but it's a pretty good name. Let's see. Wait, no, didn't he like the Jimmy Decay t shirt? Yeah, let's say you give him the Jimmy Decay t shirt. He also likes the. No, I'll, I'll just do that because I have six, I have seven of them. Okay, cool. And he also likes something else. Yes. I forgot. Are you shitting me? I can have this? It's all good. This is cool. Super oh, it's cool. the friendship bracelet. I feel like maybe I don't even have to get out of here anymore. What the hell? Huh, yeah, right. I still have to, like, get out of here. Seeing you so pleased with somebody I gave him makes me happy. Uh, I'm not even afraid anymore. I'm just pissed off. Hey, you bastard. Why? Why is this happening to me? This isn't fair, man. I mean, am I wrong? Uh, um, yeah, Willie isn't. Hey. Right? Totally unfair. Ultra unfair. Just like having to shave my head right before every baseball game. Well, I mean... You chose to do that, right? Come on, man. Are you against me now, too? I didn't even want to play, but the coach and all the teachers begged me, so I did it. And then it made me shave my head, just because it's tradition. How's that fair? You really hate baseball that much, huh? Aww. Damn straight I do. It was fun running around just in dusty fields for three hours. But for baseball players, the field is like sacred ground, isn't it? It's so not cool, spending all that time at practice getting covered in sweat and dirt. Hey, listen. It's just baseball, right? It's easy. Who needs practice? I think God's picked the wrong person to bless with you that much talent. Oh, yeah? So, I gotta admit, baseball wasn't all bad. It had a few things going for it. Yeah, why? Right. Like, the feeling of come while you wait between you and your teammates? Hey, nah, nothing like that. I can't stand being around a bunch of sweaty guys. It's so totally uncool. Then, what do you like about it? Well, I hate studying, right? But I still got into this super fancy school and a sports scholarship. So as long as I kept playing, I never had to study. Besides that, it made me super popular with the ladies. Booyah! You jealous? I got a third base in more ways than one, if you know what I'm saying. Just kidding. Wait, did I or did I not? Now I'm getting confused. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got plenty more where that came from. I'll tell you more about it next time. Anyway, let's hang out again sometime. Talking to you helps to keep my mind out of this place. With a smile on his face and a swing in his step, Leon stumbled away. I don't know if he's still wide, but I guess Leon likes hanging out with me. Okay. I got, uh, I got Robot Jock. Yes. That ability... Um, uh, increases your truth bullet rate of fire. Oh, that's pretty cool. That would have been very useful, okay. like everything else. <laughs> uh, since Leon and Sai were both okay, used as the game's default female and male models, uh, the the the, uh, the development team grew tired of them, and they were the first characters to be killed in the final published game. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Now I have a super special announcement for you all today. Today is your day off. I know half of me is black as a black hole, as a blago. But that doesn't mean I have a black heart. I've decided that I will give you all one well-deserved day uh, off a week. No work! And when I say no work, I mean it. All work is absolutely prohibited. Okay? Okay, they are dismissed. <laughs> Alright, well let's go meet with someone again then. Uh, Leon, with Japanese symbols, uh, can be translated as cunning kindness. Kuwata simply means mulberry field. Leon's oh. beta name was Kazuo Matsuzaki, likely a reference to the real-life baseball player Kazuo Mats Matsui, who was the first Japanese infielder to sign with a major league baseball team. Uh, the character designer is a fan of the punk genre, so Leon's outfit was designed with details he personally likes. Like the frickin' safety pin. <laughs> <laughs> You're not trying to get me alone so uh, you can kill me, are you? Into weird shit. My fans will go all psycho on you if you do. I'm as popular as any international superstar. <laughs> and if you're not gonna murder me, then uh, let's hang out. I really don't want to be alone anyway. 
I saw her. Did you want to take a break until, uh... Until I was done here, or... Was it the end of that fact? Oh, um... Uh, notable trivia about this execution. Uh, due to the brutality of it, it was censored in the anime. Oh, wow. Uh, Leon's shirt design foreshadows his fate, I guess, because it's a because it's Cause got, it has blood on it. You know, or it looks yeah, like it does. no, it's because it's a because like he gets hit with a bunch of baseballs and it's like oh. a skull and there's like blood coming out. I don't oh, know. I didn't notice that. But that's right. that's what it says in the trivia. I'm not sure how true that is. Uh, the execution he has is the same that he undergoes in distrust. I'll talk about distrust in a minute. Um, okay. Uh, the beta ver- oh, the beta version of the first Danganronpa game. I'll go into more detail about that later. Uh, that's why his execution is more brutal and gruesome, because that game in a bit of a darker tone. Uh, Leon's English voice actor is married to Sakura's English voice actress. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. That's pretty cool. Anyways, do I- do I take over again? Yes. Alright. I spent some time with Leon. Me and I go a little closer today. No, I'll give him a present. Yeah, I'll give him a present. Uh huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every time. Here is the. There it is. I almost gave him the Emperor's thong. <laughs> Are you shitting me? I can have this. This is cool. Super cool. I feel like maybe I don't even have to get out of here anymore. Huh, you're right. I still totally have to get out of here. Even Leon is so pleased with something like you that makes me happy. He doesn't look very pleased, he looks pissed off. Hey, listen. Akoto, my friend. Listen, I want to ask you something. Huh? What's up? You know what I mean. Well, I want to start a band, right? I was wondering if you know anyone who's good at writing music. There's no way. Oh, but nobody too popular. I don't want anyone to overshadow my own popularity as a lead singer. You're serious about becoming a musician, huh? What? Absolutely. I don't want to be a George, you know? You gotta get that Paul action. Speaking of which, what kind of music do you want to make? Well, what have I said? I want it to be like The Damned, The Clash, and The Sex Pistols. The last two of those <laughs> have stands. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to be a stand user. So I mentioned the, the Damned, The Clash, and The Sex Pistols. Those are all, uh... They're punk. Okay, yeah, I figured. These are all punk bands, right? Yeah. Damn straight! My plan is to conquer the world with punk! You know what I mean. Because, I mean, when it comes to punk, it doesn't really matter if you actually play it or not. That's true. I'm not sure how many punk bands would agree with that. Hey, listen. Anyway, by the time I got to this school, I already decided I was going to quit baseball. I was just going to use it as a stepping stone once I got to whole speed to propel me into stardom. <laughs> I was going to use my time here to become the ultimate musician. Seems like... Uh, that dream's dead now, though. I came here chasing a dream, but I never imagined it turned into such a nightmare. Hey, come on! Damn it! I have to do it! I have to become a famous musician! What the hell? Stop screwing with you, world! Give me back my youth! Give me back my dreams! So, Leon did have a dream, but it had nothing to do with baseball. It's never really serious about baseball, but can't say I'm blaming him for what he did. Hmm. Wait. What? Like, coming to help speak. Oh, okay. For a second, I was like, wait, is that, like, dialogue as if he, like, knowing what he did? So, like, was... you can't blame Leon for going to Hope's Peak. Oh, to start right. new. Yeah. All right. I, I swear to God, I have to do it. Then that girl at the hair salon will go out with me. Huh? Hey, listen. Oh, yeah. She tells me she only dates musicians. <laughs> Her face is only okay, but she's got a smoking hot body. I can get me some of that. That's... Not the real reason you want to do all this, is it? What better reason is there? The whole point of becoming a musician is to be popular, right? <laughs> Speaking of which, do you know what kind of guy Sayaka's into? Is she into musicians? Maybe actors. Maybe I guess to become an actor. I feel like I'm telling you when to say Leon a little bit. <laughs> Alright, more skill points. So I assume there's one more with him? Or was it the uh, last? Yep. Yeah, because I didn't get an achievement. Actually, once I get the achievement, I know that I'll have, uh, I'll have them all. Oh, also we get to, we get to do two yeah, things Yeah, I think today. on free days you get two or three all right, that's times you good. can talk to people. Oh, probably two. Alright, well let's uh, finish up I only up have Leon, one then. more fact about Leon. Alright, then uh, go nuts before I start. Yeah. Or as I get through the motions. 
So just go read it. Oh, okay. Um, in the demo version and the trial, uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah? you do his bullet time battle almost immediately because and because he uh, thinks Makoto's the killer due to him stuttering. Oh, all right. I have no, no idea. <laughs> it's a bit strange, but sure. Was that it, though? Yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else. Okay. God, this voice is like grating on me, so I'm kind of happy that we're gonna be done with Leon. No. It's also well, the one. It's a strong sad, so. It's also the one that I did the least, so. It doesn't help. Should have right. made him strong, mad. No. Because <laughs> this voice is actually worse to do than that one, so. Really? That's surprising. I don't know. It's just it's the way you have to do it, but. Hey, Makoto, I have something to tell you, but it's it's kind of a secret. Kachua, come to my room. Your womb? Huh? Anyway, I'll be waiting. Why am I Leon telling you why me to go with a womb like that? Hey, well, Leon asked and had to sway you with moon moom right away. Yeah. Well, I'm in the room of a future superstar. So, what's up? She get a secret or something. Seems like... Well... Okay, it's like let's, do it. let's play baseball. Kidding, just kidding. Kidding, kidding. That was a joke, super joke. I ain't baseball, remember? Huh. Uh. Wait, it sounded like it wasn't a joke. Leon, do you want to start playing baseball again? Stupid. What? What are you talking about? Don't be stupid. How many times have I told you how much I totally hate baseball? I like don't like it at all. Is what I thought, but actually, this is the longest I've ever gone without playing, you know? I mean, I was so good, they forced me to play, like, all the time. I think we- I think you gave the quirk to the wrong character. <laughs> he, he's doing it for me. And being away from that I game- I have to do- I have to do that to stay in the voice, though. <laughs> I know. And being away from, from the game for so long has made you realize how you actually- how you really feel? You bastard! I mean, it's like mind control. Baseball brainwashed me. <laughs> Cigarettes killed my father and raped my mother. <laughs> but fine, whatever. I just want to throw the ball around a little. But I can't play baseball by myself. <laughs> I never should have come to this school. Leon. Hey, listen. If what's happening to us really is some kind of school event thing, then when it's over, you know what I, mean. I think I'm going to drop out. Go back to my old school. Me and my team won't b want me back, but all I can do is beg for their forgiveness and hope for the best. I don't think you have to worry about that. I'm sure you're happy to have you back. You just showed them how you really feel about baseball, and you wanted to go to practice and... What? Practice? Hell no! No way! I seriously hate practice. I don't need to practice. I just want to play the game. Even an exhibition game or whatever. Oh. Well, I'm sure it'll all work out somehow. Yeah, they can just drop someone as good as me. I'm sure they'll totally forgive me, no problem. I mean, it's me, right? I'm the up-and-coming... Koshian. Koshian Stadium Koshien. Superstar. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You're gonna be there rooting for me, right? I don't think he's on his lesson, but still. I think it's impossible for me to hate him. He and I talked about so much together. Have I finally met the real Leon? I think Leon and I have come to understand each other a lot better. Yep, there we go. Almost, almost famous. And we got kinetic depth perception. And backpat. Uh, during concentration, automatically targets the weak spot. Alrighty. We need a little more small talk, and then I went back to my womb. It is now officially night time. Get plenty of rest and get to work again tomorrow. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. I'm gonna need day eight. So I need to put more people on cleaning duty. Oh, all right. Junko is feeling totally pumped. He needs to be feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're working your reading for Beaver. What's up, huh? Then let me give you something as a little reward. 
You got some lunch milk. Well then, have a nice day. Alrighty. Actually, uh, let me construct. Let's just see how many, uh, Alright, so I need two more binary calculators, and I need motors. I need a lot of those. Can I already make a motor? No. I need soccer balls. Okay, so wrenches and soccer balls. Alright, so... Oh, like, everyone just leveled up for me, well. No. No, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm still, like, setting my characters. No, I know. I'm, I'm used to playing school mode, so like that's I kind of can like organize a little bit quicker. Like I know you take some more time to do it. Where's a soccer ball? I can't find them. I think I can like scroll. But no, I can't. Weird. Are they just in the gym? Maybe. Oops. Oh, uh, what you do? What, and I talked to Liam by accident. No, okay. Uh, Sakura, you go look for... ranches, I guess. Nina, go take a nap. Kyoko... Uh... Get a dust cloth. And you... You're a cleaner, okay, so let's begin. I was like, hey, Hero's back, I just realized. Got a stopwatch. Oh, soccer balls, there we go. Hero's just digging up the soccer balls. Alright, so I got Makoto, Leon, Chihiro, Toko. Kyoko and Celeste, I forgot her name. All to level up. So that's pretty good. Alright, well, let's go meet with someone. So, next up on the list would be. Uh, strong Sad. Uh, Chihiro. Yes. Where is. Oh, uh, there. I was about to say, where is Chihiro, actually? Right, and well, Chihiro let's... likes. Like you can't computer quite properly. Yay. Uh, yay! I really like talking to you. He likes the blueberry perfume, the curly and camera, unending dandelion, and tips and tips. The light game guide. Ah, uh, I'll go. He only go a little closer today. Let me see what I have. Alright, so. Also, I like how it's, it's her still. Well, obviously, but like. Alright, let me see. So, what did you say? Uh, you said. Uh, uh, the tips and tips, chips and tricks, I think it's called, or tips and tips book. He likes the perfume, he likes uh, the, camera, uh, the curly in camera. I yeah. have four of those, I'll just go with that one first. Yay! Ooh, it's really amazing. <laughs> I'll take really good care of it, I'll hold on to it forever. Thank you, if you'll please with someone I gave will make me happy. Mm. No, no. What's wrong, Kyo? Um... Ah, uh, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt, Kyo? You know? Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito? No, I think like something serious has happened since you were saying how I hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You have to apologize, it was my own fault. But you said it hurts? Did it really bite you that hard? Um, yeah. See? Look. He had an arm. You know, use white bumps to that against your against your pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. But why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no. I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm. No. I noticed, but... But what? You know? 
Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it, but I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched? Why'd you smack it? Huh? Cause that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but you know, it must have been really hungry to suck out that much blood. If I was that hungry, I would have really, I would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. Sorry, I know that's dumb. <laughs> No, you. No, really. You don't have to apologize. But. It was squashing it, okay? That'll just make things worse. But. But. What if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, uh. Just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll help. Huh? Wow. I had no idea. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. She said that. She smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. What if she does it on purpose? It's so, that's a whole other level of scary. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh? What is? You know? Well, the school is completely sealed off, right? So, how'd a mosquito get in? Maybe there's somewhere in the yeah, school where bugs that. can live and grow. Some kind of nature-y spot. A nature -y place in school, eh? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Uh. Or, or... Maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage? Well, even if it's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super important. But... Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. Makes you feel better than knowing that you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yup, she just held you all best, okay? Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Makoto. Alrighty. Let's go put this increased. Hopefully people won't come in. Because that would be kind of... If so, then we're probably going to have to interrupt the, the video. But we'll have to see if we can continue afterwards. But anyways. Well, you're all done. I headed back to my room for a little while. Ding dong, bing bong. Um, this is a school. But you got, you got, you got some uh, f first couple facts for us, or? Yes, I do. Uh, Chihiro translates to one thousand questions. Fujisaki okay, means then. two unblooming Wait, flowers. His name anyone? is gender neutral. Oh. Um. His ex his execution is Super Fujisaki Bros. Fujisaki is put inside an 8-bit side-scrolling game. A huge group of pixelated monokumas would appear behind him as he tries to run. Eventually they would catch up to him, causing Fujisaki's sprite to blip out of existence. Okay. Alright then. He seems to be feeling pretty good. So we can construct. We need more notebooks. Can we make motors though? Yes, we can. We can make two. So we need wrenches and soccer balls. So we need three more motors and two more binary converters and two more dust cloths. All right. So well, whenever I say dust cloth, it makes me want to. It makes me want to say dust clops. Dust clops. Yeah. Apparently Taka is, is dying, so I guess I should uh, let him do his thing. Uh, let's see. You know what, Hina, you go look for crap as well. Uh, Toko, you just keep cleaning, because that's what you're good at. Wrenches, and that should all be fine. Let's go! Come on, guys, clean faster! Hello. What are you doing? Come on! Alright, there we go. Ah, oh, we're back up to full. 
and uh, I did Sayaka so level up again. I also Mana leveled up. So did Sakura and uh, and so I did get interrupted, but uh, all is good. We'll just uh, carry on. All is good in the hood. Yes. Let's go uh, talk to Strong out again. I like how the bath is clo closed off. I didn't notice that before. Even though we were in it before. Oh. Also, for some reason, the, the what would you like to do with Chihiro like line like threw me off. I'm like, what do you mean? And what do I want to do with them? I'm like, <laughs> move his corpse. I don't know. <laughs> You want to sit down and talk for a while? Yeah, this voice isn't any louder than my normal speaking voice. I spent some time talking with you all. You want to go a little closer today? Alright. Let's see if we can find that camera again. And that might actually go through. Faster? Alright. Huh? A present? Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you as your plea for someone I gave will make me happy. Aww. Sigh. What's wrong? Seems like a pretty heavy sigh. You know? It's just that I don't like food anymore. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just everyone else is working so hard to get us out of here, but I'm no help at all. That's not true at all. But it's okay. You don't have to try and make me feel better. I know it's the truth. I'm completely useless without a computer in front of me. At least, if I were a little stronger or something, I'd be able to help out with something. With somehow, because I can't read. Listen, you'll get your chance. I'm sure there'll be a time when your skills will come in handy. So you don't have to worry so much, okay? Huh? My skills might come in handy? <laughs> if I get a chance, I'm gonna work super hard to chip in. When it comes to computers, you can count on me. You're silly why you're like that. No matter what anyone might say, you're still the ultimate programmer. Speaking of which, how'd you get into programming? Huh? Well, I mean, I always assume most programmers were guys, so... Is it really that weird? N no! Nothing like that, it was just curious what got you interested in. I mean, why programming of all things? You know? Why? I mean, there isn't much of a reason. But the ominous music can probably not mean anything good. I've always been kind of weak, you know? I was never able to run around with my friends or anything. I've all we had a computer at home, so I killed time poking around with it, and I found I really liked it. Um... My dad was a software engineer, and he had a bunch of programs on there that he'd build. I found one of them and started playing around with it, adding stuff here and there, and that's how I ended up making my very first program. Interesting. What kind of program was it? Um, a kind of database software. Database software? You know? A user could communicate with it, and it would take that information and find out what they were looking for. It was a way of interacting with the computer without having to physically type things out. You typically understand to use it without them having to type things out. You think that she would have, you know, used it on the computer we had here, but I guess you didn't think of that. So, what you would have been would be telekinesis? Uh, I assume voice recognition then. I will check for you. Unless it's touch screen, but I doubt she'd be able to program that, so I assume it's voice recognition. She just programs a touch screen. Just a regular screen, just like transfer. Voice recognition. Yeah. You use voice recognition, is that it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, somebody's door was really <laughs> going That down. was like, that That sounded loud as hell. <sighs> wow, sorry guys. You could talk to it, and it could actually talk back. It was a lot of fun. I didn't even... It didn't even really sound like me. It yeah, will get totally absorbed in talking to it. Take a key recording yourself and playing it back again. Um. The key part of the program was getting it to recognize what I was saying. The recognition accuracy was the most important thing. Japanese is kind of hard, so that's pretty challenging. 
like you You're able not to talking eventually. In Japanese, silly. Right. Well, I can pretend. I made it speak in Japanese for some reason. I don't know why, because we speak English, so I guess that made it even harder. <laughs> That's what I just said. Yeah, I know, but I had to, make, I had to joke about it in character too. Yup, and right around then, my dad found out I'd been messing. I'd mess with a software from without permission. I thought I was gonna get into so much trouble, but all he said was how impressed he was. The software was able to take natural speech and pull out the key search terms to retrieve information. My dad said it worked so well it was going to change the world, the face of software interaction all over the world. Yeah. The development costs are still pretty expensive, so it hasn't spread all that much yet, but... Anyway, I've been addicted to programming ever since. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy it made me to be able to make others happy. It's obvious how much you love computers. You seem to just bite out when you start talking about them. Ah, oh, sorry. I spent all this time just talking about myself. You know, I really have fun learning more about you. Huh? Huh? Really? Yup, hope you'll tell me even more next time. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's hang out again sometime. You promise, okay? Give me some I've been updated. Algorithm. Alright. Um, algorithm. That. Increases the speed of memorizing a statement. Alrighty. Um, Any other uh, tidbits, okay, facts, or... Uh... Oh, uh, I have um, two more things. Uh, befitting his talents in relation to numbers, Jihiro's birthday is on Pi Day. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Jihiro's base design did not uh, go through a drastic change between Distrust and Danganronpa. Really. Uh, they tied. They, he had a bit more of a feminine haircut, including there was one picture of him with pigtails. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, like that's all I really had. There wasn't much on Jihiro. Not really. That's all right. All right, so I need one more binary converter and a lot more motors. And for motors, I need wrenches and I have plenty of sock. Actually, how many? Okay, I need three more motors, so I have enough soccer balls. So, what I do still need is I need two more binary converters, and for the binary converter I need two more notebooks. So I need, I need notebooks, and I need, uh, one more, or no, I need wrenches. Wrenches and notebooks, alrighty. Whoa, okay, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, so... We're looking for notebooks. Taka, you can go back to cleaning. Piyaki needs a break. Mondo, you keep looking for wrenches. Uh, Leon, you need a break. Fumi, go do a thing. Leon, you rest. Shiro can go clean. Jinko needs a nap. So I can keep looking for wrenches. Yeah, go look for wrenches, because wrenches is basically what I need. Kyoko's already tired again. God, where's your energy go? Alright, well, let's begin. I'm oh, actually getting wrenches, which is good. I found a sci-fi novel! And Hafumi leveled up. Yes. Good good for him. Alright, let's go spend some more time. Alright, also I didn't need to hit caps lock there. Not that it matters, but... I like how the camera was there in the uh, science lab, by the way. You want to sit down and talk for a while? Here's a giant talk with you. Like everyone leveled up. Yeah. Ready? Let's give another camera if we can find it. I think I have one more I can give. Yes. Yay. Ooh, it's really amazing. <laughs> I'll take really good care of it. I'll hold on to it forever. Seeing you always so pleased with someone like you will make me happy. Um. um, 
If you don't hate the idea, would you like to talk some more? Jesus, is anyone who can say who can say no to someone who acts like that? I'd like to meet them. Yo, I'd love to know more about you. Okay, but what do you want to know? Well, let's see. What kind of program are you working on now? Well, it's pretty amazing. You know? Oh, actually, I just started research process for something. You remember that database software I told you about? I'm retooling it into something a little more complex. But I signed an NDA with a company that hired me, so I can't really go into the details. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want the wrong people to hear about, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you or anything. I just made a promise, you know? Sorry. No, it's okay. It's my fault for asking why somebody like that you couldn't uh, talk about. Mm. Oh, but maybe I can give you a little hint. It has to do with simulating human thought. thoughts. Thoughts. Wait, he did something to do with simulating human thoughts, which must mean artificial intelligence. Yes. Right. You're developing some kind of artificial intelligence, aren't you? <sighs> ah, you figured it out. Was my hint too easy? What should I do? Oh, what do I gotta do? If they find out I broke my promise, they might... Don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Um... Yeah, I know. I know I can trust you. Okay, I guess I can tell you about it. You know? I'm working on a type of artificial intelligence the world has never seen before. It's what we call a strong AI. It is designed to think like a human, to process any mental task we can. It's strong AI. Um, you see, in the field of artificial get intelligence... Get it, because he's, he's strong, Fed? Yes, I got it. <laughs> Thank you for making that joke for me. Anyway, there's a strong AI, and a weak AI, which is more like what I am, but... <laughs> weak AI isn't much to match human intelligence. It's simply a, pro a type of problem-solving software. A weak AI isn't actually thinking. It's just executing actions programmed into it. A strong AI, on the other hand, is a program that can achieve true self-consciousness, full ego awareness. In other words, a strong AI is a complete entity, a computer program capable of becoming aware. But it's always just been a hypothesis. Plenty of experts don't think it's even possible. It's just like coming with my sci-fi movie. And you're working on something like that? But... Well... Like I said, right now I'm just researching it. I've made lots of progress on the program on the programming side and the intelligence development. Mm. But when it comes to the actual awareness, there's still a long way off. It might even be impossible. Really? You know? I'm not sure how to put it, but no matter how well designed or complex a program is, no matter how closely the software can simulate the working of a human brain, I don't think that's enough. The program is only simulating thought. It will always be lacking something. Lacking? Yeah. Well, I guess you could say a soul. If you could somehow put your own soul into the software, maybe then the strong AI could be created. Wait, soul? Yeah, I know. It's not a programming term. I'm not even sure if it would work on a technical level. Sorry, forget I mentioned it. You know? Anyway, all I have all I have right now is a theory. There's still a lot of research left to do. I think you intended to sound pretty like a pretty tough subject. But I'm glad you gotta hear about it. Um I wasted your time on another boring topic. I must have bored you to death, huh? You know the complete opposite. It was really interesting. Huh? You mean it? Yay! Okay. Next time we talk, I wanna hear about you. Oh, well, unlike you, I really am boring. <laughs> no excuses. It's your turn next time. Okay. <laughs> uh, yay. Wait, he said you like okay, that? Okay, I'm caught up again. I think the only way to refuse is if you're one of those soulless AI programs he mentioned. Alrighty. Skill points have increased. By the way, me misclicking and talking to Leon again, I figured we were so close, like, to the, like, we weren't too far into school mode. So what I did was I literally just restarted the game. Yes. Once you were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. 
Even though for like the longest time this is gonna be my characters. Yeah, exactly. So I figured no one would really notice if I stopped talking for a few minutes. This is a school. This is a school. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, joke with you to be really pretty good. Is that a good thing? Uh, I guess. Alrighty, let's construct and let's do. Okay, we can't do the binary calculator. We need one more notebook. We can make two more motors, which we need one more. So we need th three more wrenches. Wrenches, not wenches. <coughs> I mean, we have plenty of those already. So three more wrenches, and one more notebook. Gotcha. Oh no, Biaki yeah, Makoto died for me. Alright, so Mondo, go take it. Oh, email. that's not good, because if Makoto dies, then he can't do free time. Uh-oh, I have to load my oh, save really? again. Yeah, I have to load my save. Oh, cr oh crap. Oh crap, teeth will away? So uh, make sure Makoto doesn't die. Okay, no, he's fine. Let's see, I needed wrenches, right? So Makoto is looking for that one notebook. Uh, you're gonna rest, Leon, you're gonna look for wrenches. Uh, ready? Let's see. Chuka is ready to look for more. Actually, you know what? Let's go look here, because we haven't, uh... Actually, here's three items that we're missing, so go look there. Sakura, go have a nap. Hina's gonna have a nap. Kyoko's gonna find wrenches, and then we'll be good. Yep. God, Toko's just cre cleaning like a maniac. She's just scooting across that floor. Pretty fantastic. Yes. Alrighty. I, I caught up and now I'm not caught up anymore. I'm not caught up anymore. Also, what else did that she her like? Because I, I ran out of uh, cameras to give her. Um, yeah, he also likes uh, number 70, the Tips and Tips book. Okay, I'll see if I have that. That mean, this means he's a nice guy, because he likes tips and tips. Lol. <laughs> Would you like to ha go somewhere and hang out? I mean, if you don't mind. Well, it's like, out of all places, they were in the pool together, which means that they probably passed through the door. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I only kill for a while. Actually, knowing Makoto, you probably didn't even notice. <laughs> that they no, he probably didn't. Tips and tips. Uh, Time to tip. Yes. And there's tips and tips. I have two of them. All right. Oh, it's really amazing. <laughs> I'll take really good care of it. I'll hold on to it forever. Thank you. You'll play with someone like you will make me happy. <laughs> also, I like how this mode also doesn't pretend that she's a, or that he's a girl. Because they, she's listed with the guys. Yeah. No. Hey, Makoto, do you remember your promise? Huh? What promise? Uh. Did you forget already? Seriously, that was yesterday. You should have remembered that. You promised that we would talk about you this time. You really did forget, and then she just leaves. You look really disappointed. Sagging shoulders, you wanted away. That's why I did promise. You want to talk about me this time? I better go after all. I need to chill as well. Listen, I just wanted to tell you that I didn't forget about my promise. Of course I remember, so chill up, okay? Also, I like how with all the characters that have their final one, you go to their room, except for uh, Sayaka, whose room you were you would already be in at that point, or you would be going in anyways. Yeah. And uh. Junko's Not room, who, Junko, yeah, yeah who, whose room you probably couldn't go into because spoilers. 
It, of course I went Mambo, so cheer up, okay. Um, also, I like how there's four computers here, so what was the deal with having that one specific one then? Then, can we talk about you today? Sure, I don't mind it all. Really? Great. Then come in and sit down. Huh? I can come in? <laughs> yeah, of course. I know what you said, but I'm not sure she should be so quick to lie down with the fence like this. <laughs> okay, let's go. I want to hear all about you. I know you talk, but what do you want to know? Um, well, let's start with a question. Huh? You know? What do you like to do in your spare time? Well, talk to everybody else, of course, and hear more interesting stories than my own. Well, <laughs> you know, watch TV, play video games, play around. That's pretty much it. Spit telegrams and strong bad spacemen. Huh? Huh? What about sports? Oh, I don't really play anything. The only time I won anywhere was doing gym or when I won it late in the morning. You're a whole star runner, though. Well, I'm a terrific athlete, but that doesn't mean I want to do something with it. <laughs> I'm the ultimate athlete. <laughs> really? And you're still so strong. Strong? Me? No, I'm pretty much uh, bottom rung masculinity. What? You're on the bottom rung? Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's sad, because I know... <laughs> yep. <laughs> she always seemed disappointed, somehow. Hey, what's the matter? You know? Well, it's just... I'm looking for someone strong. Someone strong? What about Sakura? Well, you know, the guy who has strong in his name. I mean, not you or uh, Taka, but the other one. <laughs> no, I mean a guy. Think about strong guys. There is someone here who's probably been in lots of fights. Sakura? <laughs> oh. What about Mondo? I mean, he's the ultimate biker gang leader, right? He's gotta be the strongest guy here. Mondo. Yeah, that's it. Well, why are you looking for a strong guy? Huh? He's not quiet again. Are you like, you get tough guys or something? You know? I want to start training. I'm so weak. Huh? And it turns out that uh, Lakota was the one who sent her off to her doom. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Um... I thought that if I could talk to someone strong about it, it might help me motivate me. So, so that's why, huh? Sorry, I wish I could help somehow. Hey Makoto, do you have a, any kind of, um, inferiority complex? Inferiority complex? I can't even say that word. You know, some part of you that you can't stand? Something you absolutely hate? Oh, I guess so. For me, it's how forgettably ordinary I am. I've been made painfully aware of this part of me never, ever since I came here. I see you have ultimate abilities, but I don't have any kind of talent at all. You know? And how do you overcome that kind of feeling? I'm sure I can. That's why I decided to just accept it. That's how I feel. Something I do about it. If I don't think about it too much, I just find something else to do with my time. I throw myself into something hard enough, I can forget about it for a little while. That's... Throw myself into something? I see. I see. That's a good idea. If I don't do something, nothing's ever gonna change. <laughs> yeah, I think your advice has helped me understand. Advice? I'm not sure what anything like that. <laughs> uh, thanks, Makoto. Well, if it helped, it's good enough for me. Talking to one like this, I feel like I've gotten to know Chihiro really well. I think we are seeing each other a lot better. I wonder if I finally become a friend to her in the truest sense of the word. A good fellows? Oh. She was a poor guy that's an update based on your experience with her. He doesn't like the, unlock the skill cheat code. And uh, the time limit doesn't decrease even if you shoot a statement with the silence. Awesome. Ah. I dealt with you a little while longer, I said head back to my own womb. 
Okay, ding dong, I am finally ding dong. actually literally caught up with you. Alrighty. Um, this is a school announcement. Officially, no time. Blah blah blah. Um, saving just in case something bad happens. I haven't saved at all. So that's probably a bad thing. Gate twelve away. Hell yeah! All right, well, I guess I have no choice but to show you how friggin' serious I can get. Mine seems to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling uh pretty good. Where the fuck do you get a tambourine? Oh, the music room. That makes sense. Oh. Alright, so, binary calculator, and Yamoyo, and then that means we can make the butler. Okay, but I guess that means you don't have to actually just... Okay, Makoto needs a... Makoto needs a nap. I'm just gonna set everybody to a different room now. Come on, though, go into the kitchen. And what do you find? A bunch of night scolds staring at you! So I say kids, don't play with too many knives. Uh... I can stay there. Chihiro, get some rest. And then E. So I can eat some rest. You need to go to the art room. You need to go to the nurse's office. You're still cleaning. You go to the garden. You go have a nap. And you go... Uh, I'm to the music room still. So I'm just gonna spread everybody out today. Just to get a bunch of uh, extra crap, because I already got the statue. You can fast forward that too. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. All right, well, go meet to someone. Who should I talk to? I gotta talk to the guy who checks all his email. That's him, Strong Bad. Uh, Strong Bad likes the Sonic Cup of Noodle, roller slippers, the fresh bindings, and the chinchilla cover. Yes, I knew that one. Huh? Wanna hang out with me? Hell yeah. Perfect! I was getting bored anyway. Let's do some- Let's do something like fucking nuts! Hey, very exciting time with Mondo. Why am I going a little closer today? I don't want to give him a present. Alrighty, so you said the noodles. Do I have those? I have a couple noodles. I have two. Yeah. Let's give him one of those. Damn, seriously? This thing is like, super rare! Hell yeah. Uh, don't mind if I do. Damn, lucky as shit! He might so pleased with someone I gave him makes me happy. Ah, oh, damn it. Bastard! Damn it, bastard, son of a bitch! Whoa. What's wrong? Why are you so mad? What? Why am I mad? Why am I mad? Can't you see why I'm mad? I need to get out of here. I need to get out and run wild. Dude, shit. So pissed off right now. Shit. I know how you feel, but you don't do anything crazy, okay? Like a diamond? Don't do that. What? Hey, what? how about if we have a one on one? One on one? Yo. Relax, it's just a bare knuckle brawl. No weapons. What do you say? What? What? Did you hear me? A bare knuckle brawl. Bare knuckle brawl. I better come up with something fast. When he says bare knuckle brawl, I think he must mean. Uh. Hand to hand. Oh, hand to hand. Hand to hand, sort of thing. Bare knuckle ball. <laughs> mm. A hand to hand fight? Hell yeah! Hand to hand, knuckle to knuckle! Well, hold on, friends can fight each other. But that's the only way I can burn off all this energy. But, I mean, I've never been in a fight before. Oh no, why don't you go ask Sakura? What? You need to swallow it whole, right? You don't have to actually fight, but just Twain? Damn you! D don't be a fucking idiot! You can't hit a girl! She's a girl, right? I hurt my honor. My mom will kill me! Piece of shit. I'm serious, I can't hit girls! It's not like I'm scared of her or anything, you bastard! Okay, okay, you don't have to shout. Shout is in my blood, asshole! When I get stressed, I, I, I yell! Shit! 
Sounds like he must be really sweat out. This is a nervous habit. What's the big deal? What in the fact that it makes me hard to ask girls out? Get all nervous and start yelling. So I always get rejected. I went down with Ellie and Ellie's sister, and thanks to that, I'm on a 10 game losing streak right now. It really sucks. 10 games? That's pretty bad. Gosh, shit. I've forgotten about that too. Thanks for reminding me, jackass. How are we gonna make it up to me, shit stain? Huh, I'm getting depressed. I'm getting out of here. Shoulder slumped, Mondo twudged away. I guess I kinda messed that up. But Dick can see the side of Mondo I had no idea existed. It was almost kinda cute. Keep more than me if you hear me say that, Joe. Downshift. Downshift reduces your aim speed. Alrighty. Anyways, you got any facts uh, on Mondo? Okay, I don't have much for you on Mondo. Mondo translates to family crest and earth slash soil. Awada is a combination of the kanji O meaning big, um, something meaning peace, and then the other one's rice field. So we translate it as big rice field of peace. In Japanese, he's known as the super duper high school level gang leader. Alrighty. Is that it? Um, originally in distrust, he had a slimmer design, but and but the the developers wanted it to be a bit more obvious that he's like a tough guy, so then they changed it. Right. Also in the shack, he was more <laughs> in the shack, uh, there's a uh, crazy diamonds on the pickaxe, mm -hmm. and the origin of the pickaxe hasn't been explained yet. Well. They also mentioned on the wiki that uh, Crazy Diamonds is probably a reference to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's, it's, it's 200% so of JoJo wrote, reference. So I just wrote 200% of JoJo reference. Yes. That's, the, that's all I could come up with on him. He didn't have much. So, this is the Monokuma butler, huh? I like how there's a Roomba. What's the bottom half? Just a vacuum cleaner! Hey, is um... that what you think when you hear the phrase Monokuma butler? Would you go in the direction of, you know, an actual butler? At least I'm made. Not that I'm into that too much, but, you know. <laughs> That'd be nice, two birds with the stone situation. Clean and cute. Anyway, do it again. That's a total failure, but you didn't technically finish your assignment, so... Oh, I guess I'll give you some more tickets. I'm not the worst guy. So, the next concept is... Right here! Cooking Monoc Mama Kuma. Cooking Mama Kuma. Oh <laughs> Cooking God. Mama Kuma, that's a great pun. Jacket and Sayaka seem to be feeling pretty good. <laughs> yes. I give you a rad bow. Well then, have a nice day. But uh, I think we're gonna have to uh, stop here because uh, uh, we, we, we've done an hour now because we had to record the second half hour after I stopped and we, uh, we were already past that so for now. I think I'm going to thank you guys all for watching, and we'll see you guys all next time when uh, we'll make a uh, cooking mamakuma and uh, talk to Mondo some more. So for now, thank you guys all for watching, and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye. Bye.